Yes. 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 It's a slam. It's a slam. Hush. Real quick, I want to stop and thank Catch Co for sponsoring today's video as I'm going through the edit. They are actually the ones who paired up with the Guggen Squad and made this sick Mondo kit for today's awesome video. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. John and I get on the fish and start crushing them. You can also pick these up online at Shop Carl's at some point in time. I don't know if they're available yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in the description. And uh, I picked this one up at a local academy store. And uh, that's that, man. Let's go ahead and get into today's juiciness. I hope you're ready. What up gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a fun one. We're gonna be fishing with the brand new Mondo kit, baby. I'm pumped. I have yet to throw the jig and the zinger, being the spinner bait. And uh, I'm out here with John B, man. He took me to one of his favorite spots and uh, the water's looking a little stained. So I think that spinner bait's gonna do just fine today. The water is looking pretty dirty. So I need some black and blue and some chartreuse in my life. Luckily we've got just that in the kit. We're ready to have some fun. Let's go ahead and get after it. I do. Word. Biggest fish? Word. Biggest fish. Oh man, it's a challenge. So we're actually going to do a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to fish for... time is it again? It's it's 8.06 a.m. Uh, the day started for me at 4 a.m. That's when I got up and got ready to head over to his place and we kind of carpooled it over to the spot. But uh, yeah, four hours later we're on the water. Let's catch some Mondos. Is it found upon to fish in here? There's like five rods with lines in the water right now. I don't... We got like buzzers on there. <laughs> Woo wee! That was two and a half hours of freezing. Whew, not a single bite for the both of us at the secret spot, but I'm gonna resume this baby in just a little bit. Get you guys some catches on this mono kit and have a little bit of fun. I'll catch you up with then. You backing up? Oh fuck. Now, trying to work our way to spot number two over here. It's uh definitely off-road. We might have come up against our arch nemesis, the gate. It can't be that easy. <laughs> There's a literal path around the gate. No. Right here, this little. Oh, look cranny. at that. Look at uh, the other entryway, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely get access over there if this doesn't fly. This is nuts. I've never seen some water like with this. With the water in there too, it means that water's probably pretty warm. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, Matt. <laughs> I don't know about that. This looks sketchy right here. Oh, right there though. That ain't gonna happen. They say you gotta risk it if you want the biscuit. Probably not supposed to be over here, but uh. uh oh my god, look at that. Oh, the people. Where's the dirt bikes? I know, right? <laughs> Whoa, this dude. Oh this looks surreal. God. This is amazing. This is like the sickest fucking spot. I've this ever spot seen. right here, the Mondo kit. I've got a feeling, boys. Today's kayak mission. It's gonna be an easy one. Easy caption. Who would you send it with? <laughs> Let's roll. Woo. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. No way. Insane. Got one. Yeah. Hold on a second. Oh wow. I think I gotta do something. Well, let me call you back in a little bit. Okay, bye. There we go, boys. First one of the day. That's out of the Mondo kit. All right, baby. Crankbait. Woo! Totally dope, guys. My first catch of the day. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you the work that John and I put in trying to catch some fish. We literally fished the first spot for two and a half hours, freezing cold, wind, rain. It was just terrible. And this is like paradise in comparison. I'm about to take this freaking hoodie off. First catch ever out of the Mondo kit. That was my first ever catch on a flat banger. I've thrown around the banger a lot, the uh, recon, the mini recon. I've, th I've thrown almost all of them, I feel like. I've thrown the clutch, but I, ha I don't think I've thrown the flat banger yet with that uh, tighter wobble. And we just got the first ever catch on it, so I'm super pumped now. I think I'm gonna throw the spinner bait. All right, here she is, y'all, in all her glory. 3 8 ounce with a super salty fluke on the back, ice white color, to go with the shad and chartreuse spinner bait. Now this isn't gonna dive as deep, I'm gonna just kind of slow creep it 
And I think I got one. First cast on the zinger, baby. Woohoo! First cast ever. Yo, at this spot right here. First cast on the zinger. Oh, they love it. They love it. Oh, and he's in the boat. And he's in the boat on the zinger. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, chill, 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 chill. God damn. I can't even catch this fish. Over here. Yo, chill. Yes. Let's give him a dip. Get you back in tip top shape. Yes. That's the first catch ever on the zinger for the W. Smith channel, baby. Look at those spikes coming off the top of that thing. Is that not crazy? That looks nuts. A little scary. Let's go. Number two of the day. Munched it. Wow, that was just close to the surface right after right after it landed. I can see the zinger. It's so close to the surface. I wish I had my polarized glasses because I can literally see the zinger right here just subsurface. And I probably spooked the rest of these bass away with how loud I was being. All right, let's make a move. Dang. <laughs> There's a squirrel scaling the rocks over here. That was crazy. All right, where's John at? What's going down over here? There's one. There's one. Oh, yep. Yeah, on the flat banger. Come on. Let's go. Yep. Okay. Come on. We're skiing him. Oh, he's good. Cold bass, sharp teeth. Yes. There goes another one. And Devin's calling. Hold on. Dang. Second one on the flat banger out of the Mondo kit. They're liking the moving baits. I might just keep throwing them for a second before I switch over to that jig. I know John's having luck with it, but hey, I'm going to go with what's working. Look at this nice bass. Just let him go off camera. Had to get a couple Instagram shots. Put him in the water and forgot to uh, get the release on camera. That is my bad, but let's try this again. I'm actually, I'm just reeling it nice and slow here. Slow creep in this thing. Oh, saw me it, saw me it. Yes, yes, yoo! This crankbait dives three to six feet. I was literally, uh, like kind of on the upswing with it. Like it was coming up to the boat when I saw this guy smash it and we got him right in the top of the mouth. We got lucky on that because oftentimes when they just kind of swipe at it and it's on the way up, you might not get that hook set, but we got him, baby. That's fish number four. Wow. This is so rewarding after not catching anything flat out for hours of fishing. The Mondo kit with the flat banger is killing it. Wreaking havoc out here. Uh, oh God, I got smacked. I'll follow you now. Oh God, oh God, we got one by the boat. We got one by the boat. Yo. <laughs> Fish number five. Oh, you know. Ha, got him. <laughs> oh, takes a certain finesse over here on the yak. Ooh, we be Mondo kitten out here, yeah. We be Mondo kitten out here, yeah. Oh no, I wasn't recording, dang. It's okay because I didn't catch him, but I just like had a really good swipe and he missed it. Uh, well. Does that even make sense? Oh, damn, that's not a fish either. I am trigger happy right now after these fish catches, man. Look at this little canal right here. This looks like it could be paradise for a hog. Oh, is it a big one? No, it's not. That's okay though. All right, I think that's wet shoes. Six in the boat. I don't even know why I hide the pliers underneath the seat. I should just keep them right there by my feet. That rhyme, let's get some more feet. Next cast, how about that? No need to keep the viewers waiting. Come on, YouTube, you can make it happen. Not even one more back to back, is this for real? Come on, I know they're right here in this grass. Oh, we got them, we got them last second. That's what I'm talking about, two for two. We don't mess around for YouTube, baby. Drop a comment about how sick that was. That's back to back on the banger. Going back. Is that him? Is that a fish? I can't tell. It is, we got him. That's like number seven or eight. <sighs> Tends to happen. There we go. First one on the crack and crawl. Yes, that's what I'm freaking talking about, baby. Let's go, boys. Texas rigged. You know how we do it. What all do you want from me? ARs and them two, two, threes. Fucking around with me, you see. I'm hot on 500 degrees. Dirty caught a bite. There we go. This one could be okay, too. Texas rigged. All right. Crack and crawl. Come on. Come on up here. Oh, yes. That's a solid two pounder. That's a thick one. 
All right, guys, I'm stuck back here in this corner pocket. And, uh, <laughs> dude, just having a blast. I don't even know how many fish I'm at. You guys probably have a better idea than me. This is probably number 10-ish, maybe more, maybe less. I think more, honestly. Mondo kit is just whooping it out here. Real surprise, nothing has hit on the jig yet. It must just be... Maybe it's the color throwing them off? I don't know, like, they're going after the lighter colors, but they're also going after the crack and crawl with that, like, orange underbelly. Um, so I'm kind of confused as to why they won't hit the jig, but I'm gonna keep throwing it and see what happens. The bite in the back corner of this pocket here has been a little bit slower, and uh, it's fine, man. I'm just soaking it up, glad to be here. I don't even know where John's at. Surely the bite is on for him, too, and he's just, it's just a sleigh fest. Dude, tearing it up. Like, I got 10, 12? Fish? Total. Really? Crankbait, Texas rig, you're definitely lying. You haven't caught that many fish? <laughs> Dude, this little pocket behind these reeds or whatever you call these in the in the spawn would be ridiculous. You just see straight to the bottom. I haven't got any hits on the jig yet. After you said that jig fish, I was like trying to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought a swim bait would probably crush, but you say you've been throwing it, huh? It's uh it's totally different out here than it is back there for sure. But yeah, banger clutch, it don't matter really, I bet. There he is. Two, two and a half. Uh, this, this one might be the biggest one. I'm talking a big game over here to John, telling him I'm catching fish. And then I, oh, ain't caught nothing out here in front of him. This is probably a two and a half or something. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't do that. Ah, second time today. God dang. Let's get a release on the hoss. Yow. Stuff's getting thicker on this side. I don't like this. Square bill's been working all day. All right, y'all, I'm taking a risk, but I think I'm gonna untie the flat banger. Um, the reason I say that is because this area back here is really shallow, and so this is gonna imitate the same thing. It's gonna be that shad-colored fish, but I can keep it a little bit more closer to the top so I won't be catching all the grass. The bill on this crankbait, being a square bill, is gonna make this one dive three to six feet. Now, this one, being lipless, has almost identical presentation, but with this one, you can actually, by reeling it, you don't cause it to dive because it doesn't have that that um, bill. So with this one, what you do is you can just crank it in and it'll stay closer to the surface so you can fish this guy in a little bit shallower waters. Um, you could also use a shallower diving crankbait. Like if I had this in like a one to three foot rating, that would be perfect. But since I have this one on hand, I'm gonna go ahead and tie on the clutch their lipless crankbait that you can get at Shop Carl's. And I believe that's also where the Mondo Kit's going to be available soon enough. You can save 30% on all your baits like I do and buy from Shop Carl's with the Carl's Club membership. And that is where I got this bad boy from. Another Guggen Squad crankbait that I feel like is going to rip some lips back here in the shallows. But no guarantees, no guarantees. I'm not feeling it back here. Time to get back out to the mainland. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Come here. It's a glorious day. Glorious day. Thank you. Totally different. It's like there's no fish back Shh. there. Oh, I just had something chasing me. <laughs> All right. How am I gonna do this? There we go. I don't know how many fish that is, but we are on a roll, boys. It is 2:40 in the afternoon, 58 degrees and cloudy. Weather check. There we go. Third on the clutch. You, you, you are. Bassinizer, bassinizer, bassinizer. Boy, you try to. Oh, yeah, this is the spot. This looks good. This looks real good. And we got him. Oh, good looking spot through the legs. And it's an odd colored bass. Yellow bass. Out well. Yes. Yes. Got him on the jig, baby. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. 
Whoa. Yes, it's a slam. It's a slam. It's a slam. Slam dunk. Oh my gosh. We got him. Oh yeah. That's a bass on the jig. Last one in the box. Ooh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. This spot looked too jiggy. The bottom is just entirely different, yet it's crystal clear. I thought I would have some luck. Threw in there. First cast in the back 40. We got the one. We got the one that got it done, baby. That completes the Mondo Kit Slam, ladies and gentlemen. What a day. Oh my gosh. Let's just sit back and reflect. Guys, we did it. We got the fish that secured the Mondo Kit Slay Fest. Check it out. Oh my gosh, let's let him go. What a sick day fishing with John B in the Mondo Kit, man. Brand new, haven't fished with John in a while. He's been out of town, so it's been a ton of fun. You guys are all cloudy. The sun mask was really the MVP during the first half of the day because I was freezing and it kept me from uh, going crazy with all the wind and that mist. It was just nuts. Then we've got the Kraken Craw in the Alabama Craw color. We caught, if I, if, if I caught only one, I thought I caught more. I'm, I might have caught more on the Texas rig, but I don't know. I'll throw it some more. And back here looks perfect. I might just toss it around a little bit more as well as the jig. I was zoomed in there for a second, probably for that whole time. Dang it. Um, but the juicy jig in black and blue just got it done. Thank goodness. It's been all this grass crap. You've seen it all day. I've been picking it up with the crankbait. And then over here, the bottom is entirely different. Can I darken it up to where you can see even better? I guess not. Anyways, you can see the bottom just looks like a perfect jiggy bottom so I figured why not give it a cast back here they weren't hitting the crank back here for some reason I'm like maybe there's not even fish back here but we ended up getting it the zinger we got one early on on the spinner bait crazy I never throw spinner baits and I would have thrown the spinner bait more here but they were a little bit deeper I felt like the spinner bait took a second to get down there I wanted to catch fish because the first half of the day we hadn't caught much so really I knew I was gonna be throwing that square bill as soon as I got a first couple hits and they were on that moving bite um, it was just what they wanted so I was ready to throw it but the zinger came through and the flat banger of course right there on your far left was the MVP which I ended up trading out for the clutch about uh, three quarters of the crankbait catches through because uh, like I said over in the far end it was a little bit shallower and the grass was even a little bit higher in certain places and I wanted to just try something a little bit different but the Mondo kit crushes guys we're still gonna see who's got the biggest fish out here let's get some more oh 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 okay I'll take it <laughs> Another on the clutch. Thing is destructive. Simmer down now. Simmer down. Simmer. Oh, there goes my rod and reel again. God dang. How many times can we drop it in one day? Super soak that reel. Now, I mean, you watch me release. Oh, God. That sounded like a terrible backlash. Get that out of there quick because the trebles are sinking. Oh, my gosh. My clutch is going to the bottom right now. I'm going to get hung up and look at me. I'm dealing with the backlash. Giant slime, man. We're out deep here. Oh, in fact, I think one just hit it on the drop. I literally didn't even swim that crankbait. Is there a fish on here? Or am I just seeing things? There's a fish on here. He just picked up the crankbait on the way down. No way. I was letting it sink. Oh my gosh. And it's a good one. A freaking toad. What? Guys, you have no clue. I was literally just going to let the crankbait sink and he just hit it. Let's get out the scale for this guy. So I just haven't put anything on the scale today. That's why I'm weighing this guy, even though he's not incredibly large. Let's see what we're talking about here. 2.09. Uh, that's on hundredths, so it's not 2 pounds 9 ounces, like 2.5 pounds. This is closer to uh, just over 2 pounds. But uh, we'll take that. We'll take that. 2 pound. 2 pound. All day. Boink. They've, they've changed up on us. I guess so. I don't think he's big. Might as well just ride around the nursery and count sheep. Oh yeah? Okay. There we go. That's uh dude, this is maybe one of my bigger ones. <laughs> Alright, let's let you go. Doink. Doubled up with John. Towards the end of the session. All right, gang, we just got off Yaks, had a ton of fun. Got to thank John B for taking me out to one of his favorite spots. 
which uh, <laughs> it, it actually didn't play, uh, pan out. We drove all the way out to West Texas, tried this juicy little honey hole, and lo and behold, two and a half hours in, no bites. We were freezing our butts off, decided to look for another spot on the way home, and whoa, you guys have seen it now. This place is off the chain, and yeah, could possibly be the first Mondo Kit Slam over on YouTube. What do you got to say about that, John? I mean, I think I this think is a... Uh, I don't even have one yet, so... <laughs> John doesn't even have a Mondo Kit yet. Here, take mine. We appreciate you guys for sticking with us till the end. Let me help John get these things loaded up, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>